Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and now that iOS 12 Public Beta 1 is out, many of you have asked me, should you install it on your daily driver or your phone that you use every day, all day? And the short answer is probably not because, well, it's the same as Developer Beta 2. Now you can tell that by going to Settings, going to General, then you go to About. If we take a look at the build number down here, you'll see it says 16A5308E. And that particular build number is the exact same as the public beta. So that means the builds are identical. There's nothing different in them. One is just a public beta. One is a developer beta. So after using this for a week, there are a number of regular issues I'm running into. One of them is pretty major. GPS does not work well at all on this device. So whether that be you're using Google Maps or Apple Maps or Waze or any GPS using app to get, find directions, it doesn't work really well. So I would highly advise install, not installing this if that's critical to you. Now, another issue I've run into, and it's a little hit or miss, is right here, this personal hotspot. Earlier today, it just wasn't there. And since then I've taken my SIM card out and put it back in and now it showed up. So it wasn't working. Now it's working and you'll find little bugs like that all throughout the OS because this is an early beta. Certain people were having issues with the camera, not opening at all. It was disabling that uh, other people have had terrible battery life. Like myself, you'll see normally I can go all day. I'm at 23%. It's 10 o'clock at night. With iOS 11.4, I was able to get about 50% by 10 or 11 at night. So it's not so great, at least for me. So the other thing, too, to wrap this all up is if you want to install the public beta and you ever want to go back, you actually have to fully wipe your phone. And I recently did a video on how to do that. But you have to wipe the phone using iTunes on a Windows or a Mac computer to get back to the previous version if you can't use this one. So there's lots of little things. Uh, early on, Skype didn't work if you use that. Uh, a lot of things seem to be working okay now, but I, I would wait until public beta 2 or beta 3 is out. Usually by the third beta, we're much more stable. But I just want to make this quick video to keep you informed because a lot of you just kept asking. So hopefully that helps. And let me know how it's been for you if you did install it. If you haven't subscribed already, though, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.